we're collecting wood for our silver skate sculpture. Um, we're building a giant 3D puzzle of a dire wolf, uh, assemble it on site all day and burn it in the evening. Just building something in a collaborative project like this is really satisfying, I think, for artists who are involved. But yeah, really, I just like to like watch some stuff burn. <laughs> what initially drew me to, to fire sculpture, it was just kind of a natural thing that happened. You know, I met people who were building things and then at the end of our builds, we burn it. It's a really easy way to release all of that energy because it's a lot of it's a lot of effort that you put into something, a lot of thinking. And so when you burn it, it just releases all of that and it's, it makes way for something fresh to come in as well. What we did is we used a projector and Dina came and traced it all um, from a projector onto each sheet of plywood. And so we figured out kind of the right ratio of how to, how to expand them, enlarge them, and you know, roughly to the size of the sculpture we wanted. Fire is unpredictable and art is unpredictable. Um, I don't know how many times I've, you have an idea of what you want to make and then what actually happens will be completely different. Can you just lay it down a little bit? Putting your thoughts, putting your, your heart into it for the spectators as well and then just to release it by fire, it just seems to work for a lot of people. It's, it's, it's spooky stuff that shouldn't work and it just does. It makes people feel lighter. For too long have we suffered the blight of winter. For too long has this kingdom wasted so much time shoveling. To honor our wonderful kingdom, I decree, let's burn this thing. Fire and art. I think a lot of art is putting yourself out there in a physical form. Whether people see that or not, you put a lot of heart into what you build. Same as in life, you know, you have to let things go constantly. When you burn something, you don't have a choice. You can really do whatever your imagination leads you to, because you're just gonna let it go. You're just gonna burn it to the ground. And you're gonna cheer while it happens. <laughs>